<laughs> Next question is from Fitz. He says, good day, gents. Thanks for this forum to get real world results. What's working now answers. Uh, thank you, Fitz. You're welcome. He says, in Google Console, so he's talking about Search Console, there is a column for impressions. Does that reflect how many impressions I am getting or the total impressions available to that keyword? No, that reflects how many impressions your site that you've submitted to Search Console is getting from it within Google. So when you look at impressions, it shows search queries that have triggered your site to show in the search results. Doesn't matter where they show. I, I think it's only the first 10 pages if I'm if, if I'm correct, it only it will only register as an impression if Google has served your website or any page within your website uh, for the search query shown within the top 100 results. I could be wrong about that. It, they may, it may have changed, but it just means that your website has been um, given an impression in the search results for the query shown in the search console report, in the search queries report, if that makes sense. So if you actually take a look, there's a there's a, a, a button, uh, a tab called um, position, right, or average position or whatever. You click on that and it will actually show you the average position of your page or site where it was ranked for that particular query. Now, and then if you click on the pages tab, it will show you which page was being served in the or given an impression in the search results for that particular query or pages if multiple pages have appeared for that same query. So it's it, it, like I said, poke around in those uh, search console results because you can get a lot of insight about queries that you didn't recognize or know were, were search queries that were your site was getting impressions for. And then you can start to begin to optimize for those queries that your pages are getting impressions for, but may be ranked on, you know, in, in 70th position, right? Let's just use that as an example. Then you can start to work on an SEO strategy to push those pages or, the, you know, for to get those uh, to get your site to rank better for those search queries. And so that's that's a really good question, but the, the impressions on the number of times that your site appears in the search results for those queries. What's interesting is when you apply some of what we're talking about here, like a drive stack, for example, especially a drive stack, you'll see that that's one of the metrics that I use to report back to clients as to show that the improvements are being made. Now, the... Once a drive stack has been built, and especially once things start to index, you'll see the impressions will start going up month over month for keywords. And that's because the way that we build out the drive stacks and we include so many of the keywords, like in the metadata of the files and all that kind of stuff. And so what happens is your site, wherever you're pushing the relevancy to from the drive stack, so let's say back to a money site, will start to show for many, many more different keyword or search queries, you'll start to get impressions for many more of those. Now, your average position which is one of the key metrics on, on those uh, search console report may say, you know, 30 or 40 or something like that. That's fine. And, and I've, you know, I've had to explain that to clients in the past and they say, well, it shows my average position. I'm getting more impressions, but my average position is falling. And that's because your av that means that your site is being recognized for more search queries, but that doesn't mean that they're all uber optimized for those search queries, but that's still a key metric in that your site is now being recognized for more and more relevant search queries because it means that you're starting to build relevancy to the overall site, the entity itself, if that makes sense. Now, I know somebody's got some comments about that. Yeah, but uh, by the way, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because we talk a lot about deli delivering real world proven results, things that we have tested, things that we know. We don't, we don't just talk, talk out our ass, man. We know what we're talking about. And, and one of the things that we know about the relevance passing through the G site, through the drive stack, over to the website is because of the, uh, the number of queries, right? Which uh, become available in, in Search Console. And so we can totally see the relevance being pushed through so that now you're, you're seeing all of these different impressions for things that you're not really optimized for but then you can pick and choose which one you, uh, where the money is and optimize for that and push for that the way I just showed in, in the RYS webinar so that you can start making money from, from all of this data. Guys, you can't do anything without data, right? But it, and it has to be the right data. Once you have it, then you, 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 you can go like, like you can laser focus on that data and push into that and go after that. So, so guys, you know, the, don't think that we're just delivering the things off the top of our head. It's things that have been four years in the making. It, and it's just constant. We're constantly in the lab trying to improve it, 
trying to make it better. I agree. He says, if there are more impressions to be had, how do I increase that number? And again, that's, that's how, you know, blogging consistently, uh, you know, using various keywords. And that's one of the things, like I said, use search console to help you discover queries that are relevant that you may not have thought of, like things that even a keyword report may not have revealed to you that would, that are still relevant to your business and then, or to the, you know, the, the project that you're working on. So then you can start to develop a content strategy around those particular keywords to, to blog about them. Drive stacks. Once again, when you find queries that, um, start to that, that are not that you had, didn't include in your keyword list when you ordered a drive stack, for example, or built one, um, then you can go back and add additional files into your drive stacks, targeting those keywords, which is what we were just talking about. So that's how you do it. It really is. And it's, a, it's a crazy because you'll see those, those impression numbers go up and that's a, that's a clear indication that what you're doing is working.